Okay, here's what's happening. My piece of plexiglass is sitting on the floor right here with my suction cups attached. Okay, the uh, top of the plexiglass would be right here, just, just underneath this particular uh, uh, stop right here. And uh, I don't know what to call it. Anyway, the idea would be that I would push the plexiglass in so that the top of the plexiglass will just will just ride in here, okay, like this. Then the, the whole thing goes up and, and I rattle it in place along the, the track in the top or the, the slot in the top and then and then slide the bottom in and it'll sit on this ledge. Now that's the plan. It should work. It's the same system as I've been using for 40 years on the piece of glass in the case downstairs. It's almost exactly the same. Works quite works quite well. Uh, now the plexiglass will have to flex a little bit, but being as that it's plexiglass, it will. It'll have to kind of bow a little bit this way because naturally, if it's coming straight down here, it's going straight down is is here, but it has to be out out like this. So, uh, but I, th I think it'll work. Like I say, that's the plan. Uh, now let's go pick up the Rodney. I have just got back from Cellar Dweller and it is hot outside already this morning. It's not even 11 o'clock and it's over 34 degrees Celsius. That would be like, oh, 95 I guess Fahrenheit? Yeah, and it's not even noon yet. Anyway, I haven't got the model to the model table yet. We'll be doing that and we'll have a box opening. Um, however, on the way to Cellar Dweller, I did stop off at the post office and mail Tony's turret. Hey, that kind of rolls off the tongue, doesn't it? Tony's turret. Anyway, um, yeah, so he'll probably be getting that, and I'm guessing in about a week from today, because uh, things have slowed down with the, uh, with the post. Now, I don't think that's a problem with just Canada. I think it's a problem worldwide. Everything's slowed down because of this COVID thing. Meanwhile, back to Cellar Dweller. And yes, this is Carrie. Now you can put a face to that voice that you've heard on the phone a couple of times. It's a little bit hard to see, but on the left-hand side of this photo, there's a piece of plexiglass hanging down over the counter. Well, as you can imagine, we started talking about plexiglass. And Carrie told me where he got it, and I'll probably run out to the same place he went to. And, uh, yeah, but anyway, we don't want to be talking about plexiglass right now until we get back to the case. In the meantime, yeah, let's get back to the model. It's still sitting in the hallway. I haven't even got it to the model table yet. And that's the truth. I'm just sort of resting here in front of the computer. It's a lot easier to sit than stand. Um, but you don't want to be hearing about that. Now I've wasted quite a bit of time already it's already after 12 and this is honestly the first time I brought it in and set it on the model table. However, it's not the first time the box has been opened. In Cellar Dweller, we did open the box, just took, just took the lid off and just to make sure everything looked okay. Now there was no sign of damage on the outside of the box, but just to play it safe, uh, Carrie opened the box just to look in and we didn't do a parts count or anything like that. Uh, so uh, I like to be honest in my videos. This is not the first time the box is open, but it, it will be the first time that we have actually opened the little individual boxes. Uh, yeah, I haven't, I haven't even seen the hull yet myself. Kerry saw it. He said it looked okay. Uh, all right, uh, let's uh, reposition the camera around here and open her up. This is one of the things we've been waiting for. Uh, actually, I, I wish it was the hood, but oh, speaking of the hood, it's probably going to be here uh, sometime, oh, 
maybe the end of next week, uh, from the way Kerry was talking, but more, more than likely two or three weeks. Things are going really slow. Uh, anyway, we, we got the case to finish there. Uh, I haven't even got the paint for it yet, so, you know, it's a lot of stuff i got to do yet, but, uh, we'll, hey, let's get the camera around here and look at this. Oh, maybe before I take the lid off, I'll just swing it around so you can see the artwork on the side here. Um, I'll move the camera when, when it comes to uh, looking at the individual boxes. Otherwise, you're not going to see any detail. Okay. Now, this is the first time I've got to take the lid off. Looks a lot like the way the Bismarck came. Got our uh, paint marking guide. Now here's something that's different. Oh, they're advertising, uh, trumpeters advertising different uh, models. Uh, okay. The manual. Okay, now here's the hull. It is, it is somewhat smaller than the Bismarck, but it's still a good size. And yes, it appears to be okay. I'm now looking at it a lot better than we did in Cellar Dweller. So that looks alright. Anyway, let's, uh, let's move the camera and we'll check out some of the individual parts here. There, there, there is going to be less pieces than there was uh, uh, with the... Uh, uh, with the uh, Bismarck and the same with the hood. There's, it's, a, it's a simpler model if you want to call it simple. Uh, still going to be a lot of work. Okay, just let me uh, rearrange. Now, I had originally planned on having you in a lot closer, except that as I was unpacking all the stuff, uh, there was these three boxes here, but I came to this flat one on the bottom underneath these and this is, uh, the, obviously this will be the deck. It probably is all one piece. I haven't opened it up yet. Okay, nothing is damaged that I can see. It looks good. Now, if you will remember a year and a half ago when we were putting the deck down on the hull of the Bismarck, uh, we were so impressed with how well it fit. I don't know if this one's going to fit that well or not. I suppose we could give it a quick try. Uh, we will not be gluing anything together. We are just checking everything out here. Everything looks like it's going to be okay. Just let me quickly... This is quickly. Okay. Now I know I was saying how, you know, this is a, a whole lot smaller than the Bismarck or, or the hood. It's still a very good size. Now let's just see if this is going to fit in as nice as it did on the Bismarck. I, I know that 
I was very impressed with the way it, the Bismarck fit together and so were other comments that I read or heard on YouTube. So is this going to fit nicely now? Or is it going to give us a problem? I think it's supposed to go like that. Oh! I got it upside down. Okay, I was getting really disappointed there. Good thing I can cut a lot of this out. Yes, it fits together really well. Not any big gaps or anything like that. Okay, so uh, we'll just put that aside for now. Um, okay, now I'll move you in. Propellers. Looks like there's only two. This was a, a two screw ship. On parts for the anchor as well. Propeller shafts and anchor chain. And the dreaded photo etch, which I'm getting a lot more used to, I gotta admit. It doesn't scare me like it did a year and a half ago. When we we'll take a close look, or at least I will, when we do our parts check. I just want to give it a quick check here and see if it looks like anything's broken or damaged or the packages are all sealed so obviously this box has never been opened by somebody else and returned. Uh, I bought some camera equipment that that actually happened. There's an outfit here in Winnipeg I was getting a flash and uh, they said oh we can our store in Saskatoon has what you want and we can bring it in so it they brought it in and uh, when, I, when I got it and I opened it up, here's a receipt from somebody else in Saskatoon that, that they had bought it, returned it, and, and this receipt was still in it. So I phoned the people up in Saskatoon, which is about 400 miles from Winnipeg, and I, I talked to the people there and they said, oh, we, 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 yeah, we bought it and we returned it, we didn't want it or something to that effect, but I was really disappointed because I had paid a brand new price for this for this flash and uh, and it uh, turned out it, it was it was uh, it was used, you know, that, that was disappointing because it was sort of a what you might call a reputable company here in Winnipeg that I bought the bought the flash from, so anyway you know, I'm giving you more information than you need to know here. Let's open another box
Now it seems to me I had this problem with the uh, Bismarck as well. It, some of the boxes were really, really tight. Now I will cut this out. Well, that was a tight one. one. Just about have to wreck the box to get it open. Okay, here we go with the superstructure. I think this is going to be a fun kit. Oh, the aircraft parts. And this is, uh, this is obviously a biplane. I thought the Rodney was newer than that. I knew that the hood had, had biplanes, but I didn't think the Rodney did. I guess we'll have to steady up on it. Everything's looking really good here. Well, I'm going to uh, call it quits for today. I think we did pretty good. Uh, yeah, so uh, we'll, we'll take a. Oh, this is this is obviously a cradle for the for the base. Well, it, we, I won't be using that because the uh, because we'll be we'll be uh, using a different type of bracket in the ship case. Um, but, but this is this is something that the uh, Bismarck did not have. Interesting, but everything looks good. I'm not seeing a whole lot of extra flashing on anything. That's going to take a lot of extra work to clean up. Yeah, looking good, trumpeter. In the meantime, thanks for watching, and all being well. We'll see you tomorrow.